Hey guys, welcome back to Jibber Jab Reviews. In today's episode, I want to share with you my real-world battery test that I conducted on the new 44mm Galaxy Watch Active 2, and in my case, it's in the stainless steel case. And the reason that I'm calling this a real-world test is because I want to give you an idea of how it performed without disabling the main functionalities of the watch. So yes, you can get better battery life out of it than what I'm about to show you, but again, I wanted to keep this test as real as possible because after all, it is a smartwatch, and if you're going to turn off the majority of its features just so you can possibly squeeze out another day, then you're effectively making it a dumb watch, at least in my opinion, and that's probably not the reason that you bought this in the first place anyways. Okay, so that being said, I will tell you that I left the Bluetooth, the Wi-Fi, and the GPS connectivity on, and it was continuously paired with my Samsung Galaxy S10 smartphone. I kept the battery saving mode on standard, I left the heart rate monitor on the default setting, whereby it checks your pulse about every 10 minutes, and I kept the brightness level at an acceptable 7 rating, which isn't super bright, but it's good enough for both indoor and outdoor use. So I started by charging the device to 100% and then I just left it, meaning I wore it all day, I used it as I normally would, so checking the time here and there, I went for a couple walks, and I even changed up the watch faces a couple times as I still wanted to make some reviews for you guys. Now the only feature I did enable was at nighttime just before bed, I turned on the night mode, which effectively disables notifications, the wake up gestures, and the watch always being on. And the reason why I did this is I actually wore it while I was sleeping so I could collect some data about my sleep patterns and those results actually are going to be shared in a separate video. So even though the good night mode was on, it was still taking my pulse and collecting data so I think that kind of balances out the disabling of the notifications I would have received during the night anyways. Okay, so you guys have been watching the progress shots that I've been doing here periodically just to show you how well it performed, and you know what? It did really, really well. It actually exceeded my expectations of how long it could go. Now, in comparison, my wife has the original active watch, and she has to charge that thing every single night. Now, granted, that one is with the 40 millimeter case, which means the battery is smaller, but nevertheless, the Active 2 went an impressive 60 hours on a single charge. And keep in mind that this is with all those default functions on and with a display brightness level of 7. So if you really wanted to stretch this battery even further by turning off some of those functions, such as the heart rate monitor or maybe the GPS, then I have no doubt that you could easily get three days use out of this, which again is really good because I'm averaging three and a half days on my larger 46 millimeter size case and battery for the Galaxy Watch. All right, guys, that's it for another test. I hope you guys found this information useful. And if you were on the fence about getting the 44 millimeter Active 2 watch because of its battery life, then I hope this information has at least helped alleviate, if not eliminate, any of those concerns. Thanks again for watching the review and stay tuned for tomorrow as we have another huge bunch of freebies to give away. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then, take care. Thanks again for watching our review and if you liked it then show us some love with a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and share the video with your friends because with your support it really helps me keep the channel going so I can continue to offer you guys discounts, giveaways and of course fresh content. I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, take care.